for my number one. Ladies and gentlemen. Today is a very special day because the national finals are finally back and the first country up is our comeback country Montenegro with the national final Monte song that goes live 27th of November. Of course like and subscribe that is really important and you can comment what you think of these participants underneath in the comment section we would love to see you there. Montenegro mm. what a comeback. What a comeback. You brought us disco funk it is vibes a lot of great rock yes like some a lot of good female singers a lot of great concepts and like i'm just taken so back by like the symphonies that you incorporated two of the chorus courses mm -hmm. yeah wow what and a comeback and it's such diversity Ugh. in what we just heard we heard like yeah. A really powerful stop war and then you have this like lullaby-ish and then you yeah, have the a funky uh, 80s disco it's just like yeah wow if this is an indication of the level this year i'm happy but now we're going to reveal to you our top three each of us my top three and hannah's top three yeah so you can get a little insight into what we are left with yeah Okay. So for me, in third place, I did put Band 9 Stop War. I just found them to be awesome yeah. in their genre. Very pulling me in. So my number three is uh, also Band 9 or Band 9? Band 9. <laughs> Band 9. Come on! Stop War, that was just a great song, great energy. Message that I really liked, the way it was conveyed was just the right way to convey it i loved it i can't wait to see it live mm. and i think some elements in the song with the air siren or like the what would you call it like a warning a warning siren. siren and the bomb in the background as yeah. well was, Did you hear was that a bomb? bomb it was it really hit me yeah and so that's why it had to be my number three yeah so for my number two i have tina Tsanki. yes Oh, it's good! And as it you is. said, it I just found it to be really engaging and funny and funky and a dancey song. It really does. I just, I just thought the chorus here was amazing. Really liked it. It's one of the ones that are still like left in my brain. I want mm. to listen to it again. So of those songs, there were some songs and female vocalists that I think will be competing against each other this year. Mm. And for me right now, after the first listen, yeah, it had to be her. Yeah. yeah. And for my number one, <laughs> it's Tula. I think she was just an amazing singer. She put on like a lullaby-ish waltz and she pulled me in. She made me feel things even though I didn't understand her language. This is beautiful. Yeah, it is. 10 out of 10. Yeah, nice. And for my number one, I placed Badiak. Of course, I don't know what struck me with that chorus, but I'm... I just want to listen to it again, again, again. I just want to, I don't know, like be a Viking, go back in time or like ski down a mountain with like a avalanche in my back and just listen to this song. Oh. Yes! Oh, I'm so happy. This is my favorite so far. Okay. I love this. I love this. I don't know. I love these songs. Yeah, for me, that was my clear number one. I'm not sure if Badiak is the one that is going to win Montesong this year mm. uh, because of the genre and because I think maybe the, the general public will appreciate other songs more. But I would give my vote for Badiak if they deliver live. And I think the chorus here could do really well in Eurovision. Mm. It will stand out for sure. And I think it will be a great live experience. Definitely. Yeah. Woo. Okay. What a start! What a start to Eurovision 2025, you guys! Yes! 
And again, this is the channel to follow the national finals closely. Definitely. So if you want to see us rank all the national finals from 2024 to know who to keep your, eye, your eyes out for, then uh, it's uh, going to be released very soon. Yeah. And also there is the final in Junior Eurovision 2024 right around the corner, the 16th of November. Uh, so next weekend. Yeah. So you should definitely, if you haven't, check out all the songs for this year's Junior Eurovision final. And if you also want, you can check out our top 10 to see who our favorites are. Yes, and the kids are so talented. It's ridiculous. Tell us in the comment section who was your favorite for this year's Monte song, who took your heart and give, gave you the best impression. And also, please tell us a little bit about the artists. We don't know any of these artists mm -hmm. from uh, Montenegro, so we would love to just know a little bit about them. So uh, yeah, love to see you in the comment section. And again, if you appreciate our content, you could uh, subscribe and like this channel or this video and it will help us a lot. And also, you can support us by becoming a member. Anyways, we can't wait for the national finals to finally begin. Oh. Ooh, okay, so uh, see you there, Montesong, the 27th of November. Yeah. In Montenegro. Yeah. And also, what do you guys think of the participants for Montesong this year? Are you as positively surprised as us? Or are you disappointed? How do you feel? See you in the comment section. Have a lovely day. Bye. Bye. Ladies and gentlemen.